हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स बिगिन द सेकेंड चैप्टर दैट इज स्ट्रैटेजिक मैनेजमेंट एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज स्ट्रैटेजिक मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल बिहेवियर क्लास फर्स्ट बी कॉम सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट नीड फॉर स्ट्रैटेजिक मैनेजमेंट एंड स्कोप ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजिक मैनेजमेंट सो लेट्स सी द मीनिंग ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजिक मैनेजमेंट strategic management refers to the managerial process of developing a strategic vision setting objectives crafting a strategy implementing and evaluating the strategy and initiating corrective adjustments wherever deemed appropriate so strategic management it is a managerial process it is concerned with developing a strategic vision and setting objectives and crafting or designing a strategy and implementing a strategy after implementation uh, it involves uh, evaluation of strategy whether the said objective is achieved after the implementation and initiating corrective adjustment if there is any uh, what variation uh, then result variations in the result expected and results got then some uh, adjustments they have to make in order to get the expected result so strategic management is concerned with this so strategic management it is a set of managerial decisions and uh, actions that determines the long run performance of a company strategic management is concerned with deciding on strategy and planning how strategy is to be put into effect so strategic management is concerned with uh, deciding which plan we have to make how to make a plan so in or uh, in a plan what should be there and in planning how that uh, strategy is to put into effect so how that uh, strategy should be effective that is plan in a strategy and that is called strategic management strategic management includes strategic analysis before making a plan we will be having a, a different plans so we are going to make analysis we are going to make analysis of internal factors external factors uh, then we are going to make a, a plan so which are the things are required for this plan so when to execute that plan so how should be this plan so everything it is planned that is called strategic analysis analysis with regard to the requirements of a uh plan then strategic choice choice so we will be having uh, different plans so while making analysis we will get different ideas so out of that different ideas we are going to select the best idea that is what strategic choice then strategic implementation so out of the strategy which we have selected now we are going to implement it so that's what strategic implementation then need for strategic management so why there is a need uh, for strategic management or why organization should have uh, strategic management so let's see first need is increasing rate of uh, change there are large number of external variables or external factors whose values do not remain constant but which have a profound impact on the organization so uh, operations so there are large number of external variables that uh, will change uh, time to time and modern companies also that are operating in a highly dynamic environment which is ever changing and it, which is uncertain so uh, there is a, a continuous uh, uh, flux of threats and opportunities so you may face uh, uh, threats and you may get opportunities in a market so to grab those opportunities to uh, face those uh, threats uh, company needs to have a strategic management company need to have a plan so therefore organization should have a strategic management so these external va variables includes uh, a uh, global environment changes in the global environment then economic trends changes in political environment uh, uh, legal force uh, law introduced by the government social dynamics cultural shift changes in the culture so all those things will matters so these are things these things are changing uh, constantly so to face that change to meet that change company need to make changes in its uh, plan the organization which can change 
and adapt itself successfully to the drastic changes in the business environment will sur survive and grow so organization which will adopt these changes which will make changes in itself they will survive forever so we can give the best example of nokia phone so in uh, 90s so there uh, that uh, nokia phones only will be having in our home but now we will be having different phones different models and every month they will be updated version but uh, this nokia it is failed to update itself it failed to uh, adopt a change so that's why it is vanished but uh, now still it is uh, uh, there in the market but uh, not much demand for that phone so strategic management has become a must for all the organization for their survival and growth the second need is competitive advantage good to create competitive advantage strategy management is necessary so the modern business follows the war principle of win or lose uh, that means uh, win win situation does not necessarily arise in the present uh, business world so now there is a situation that is you need to either win or lose so organization should have a competitive advantage to outperform its competitors and dominate the market to face competition uh, to have a competitive advantage that means to dif to be different or distinct from its competitors to serve better than its competitors company need to have a strategy so strategic management has different strategies to this uh, effect to face competition we can make different uh, plans different strategy we can do scarce resources natural resources are becoming increasingly scarce management must determine how to compete for these resources in how to allocate and utilize them effectively so strategic management helps us to decide uh, the most feasible and viable projects uh, to which we need to allocate the resources if we take up all the projects then we may face a problem of uh, natural resources so that's why so uh, this strategic management uh, improves the allocation of resources to the most important uh, projects because uh, natural resources are that are scarce in nature Uh, like it may be the petrol or uh, water so all these things uh, are scarce in nature we have to use it in a optimum way and uh, you have to utilize them in a effective way human resource management the profile of the workforce and composition of human resources changes constantly so the requirement of uh, employees it may be the number means the quantity or quality of employees that are changing now workforce is getting more educated as a result all routine uh, repetitive work is now handed down to the uh, automated level so which can be performed by computers and machines so because of that number of employees required in organization that has reduced and there is an increase increasing need to motivate and optimum utilization of human resources the employees which are there who are there in organization they should be uh, utilized in optimum way so by giving uh, uh, better salary to the employees we can motivate we can arrange motivational programs we can give financial motivation so that they may work uh, good or they may work better for the organization so how to manage the human resource so with regard to we need to make a plan so that is done by the strategic management so management here strategic management uh, with regard to human resource uh, is related to uh, appointment of employees how to uh, select employees uh, how to hire employees so which are the uh, qualifications or qualities which is required for a specific uh, post so everything we need to 
plan and how many numbers of employees are uh, there in org- need to be there in organization and uh, uh, what is a uh, working hour so everything we need to plan in this uh, human resource management information revolution there has been explosion of information availability flow and usage so this has tremendously increased the amount and type of information stored in databases and its usage this in turn spurs they need to um, increase knowledge there is a need to increase knowledge and ability to plan effectively over a long term so whatever the plan which we have made it uh, before that we, that is need to be stored when uh, similar problems arise in future so we can uh, refer the uh, ideas which we had done in the future uh, sorry in the previous uh, years that can be referred and uh, that can be applied to the present uh, solution or we can make some changes in the uh, idea which or the plan which we had in before need for uh, strategic plans modern management has to take into account the contributions of all environmental forces so it is to consider all the environmental forces so it is necessary to develop strategic plans to cope up with the impact of environmental factors so environment uh, and the factors that are changing once so to face or uh, to cope up with the changes or to face the impact of environmental factors we need to have a uh, different uh, strategic uh, plans there is a continuous demand for critical uh, look at the basic concept of business and its relationship to the environment so the concept of strategy is to satisfy this uh, requirement so we need to have a uh, uh, different uh, plans for each factor we need to make a plan and the strategic management will consider combination of many plans managing for tomorrow managing today typically involves fine tuning current operations and introducing incremental changes with the strategy remaining reasonably fixed but managing tomorrow requires different skills so we need to plan for the future so that is done in a strategy so for that we need to consider the future uh, aspects that is going to change or that is uh, expected to change in uh, a uh, future so about that it may be about uh, customer preferences or uh, competitor strategy everything we need to plan and we need to be prepared for tomorrow to have the foresight and knowledge to imagine how the firm will look in future requires creating a vision of what the firm and its environment is likely to look like so the manager of the organization they need all the top management they are going to ma- imagine that how the firms uh, need to be look in future so for the future vision they need to make a plan and uh, make company prepared for uh, uh, itself for future this involves developing company mission objectives goals and functional plans so we need to set mission we need to set uh, objectives and uh, goals and so many functional plans company need to make to prepare a uh, company for the future position strategic thinking so resolution of strategic issue that affect the future of a business firm has been the continual endeavor of the modern business management this endeavor is based on the development of strategic thinking thinking strategically is the basic need of the present business management so the managers they need to think strategically so as uh, strategic management focuses on uh, determination of major organization objectives by identifying the things to be achieved it furnishes a strong base for unified decision making so uh not only the enterprise but various uh, subunits they need to be many uh, what benefited so strategic decisions taken under strategic management helps for the smooth running of the enter- enterprise so strategic planning it's the overall planning of operations for effective implementation of policies so organization that need to have strategic thinking for the success of strategy which is going to be implemented next see 
द स्कोप ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजिक मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रैटेजिक मैनेजमेंट फोकस ऑन टोटल एंटरप्राइज सो इट विल कवर द एंटायर एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट और एंटायर एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो इट इन्वॉल्व प्लानिंग directing organizing and controlling of the strategy related decisions and actions of the business as i said it will cover the total enterprise it will cover the entire organization so it involves planning after planning we are going to direct then we need to organize the resources required then uh, we will be having controlling over the uh, factors or the activities of the organization J constable has defined the area addressed by strategic management means he defined the scope of strategic management as the management processes and decisions which determine the long term structure and activities of the organization so strategic management is a set of management uh, or managerial uh, decisions and actions that determines the long run performance of the company so it will determine the various activities of the companies and resources required uh, for that everything is planned in a strategy so this definition incorporate five key themes or uh, it uh, defines uh, uh, areas where uh, strategic management is covered that is management process so strategic management is a management process and it is related to how strategies are created and changed so here strategic management is concerned with making a strategy or making a plan and in future if there is any changes is re, uh, required to the changing environment we need to make a changes in a plan which we have done initially and that is done in a strategy management decisions the decision must relate to uh, a solution of pursued problems like how to avoid a threat or how to capitalize in uh, opportunities so uh, we need to make a decision that is regard to facing a threat that it may be competition a new policy introduced by the government or any other things that is coming from external factors and the opportunities which is created in the market so all these uh, decisions are going to be uh, were taken in this uh, strategic management process so here they are going to take a decision with regard to how to face the threat and how to grab the opportunity time scales the strategic time horizon is so long however it can be very short for our company in real trouble so it depends on the problem which we are facing or the issue which we are uh, uh, facing now so depending on that strategic time will vary structure of the organization an organization is managed by people within a structure the decisions which result from the way of the managers uh, work together within the structure can result in strategic change so strategy depends on the people who are in the management so it depends on the structure of the organization activities of the organization this is a potentially limitless area of study and strategic management normally centers upon all activities which affect the organization so strategic management is concerned with the entire aspects of the organization so it will cover uh, all the activities which will affect the organization or which are related to the organization thank you in next class uh, we'll discuss a uh, few more concepts in next video thank you